You're watching News 19's Friday Night Blitz, sponsored by Prismian Group of Lexington. All right, welcome back to the second half of the Friday Night Blitz. And obviously, high school football, very important, but also, obviously, earlier in our newscast, you saw the, uh, the, uh, the memorial service over at Dutch Fork High School tonight. So, yes, we're having fun. We're having fun calling these highlights, but obviously, uh, our thoughts and prayers, obviously, with the Dutch Fork community. Uh, they'll be getting back to football activities on Sunday, but obviously, a tough time for them. And you've seen the outpouring of support they've had. Uh, this week and obviously a tough situation there. Uh, meanwhile, over at Hammond tonight, they had a moment of silence uh, for the Dutch Fork player. And there you see John Wheeler making his debut as the new head coach of the Hammond Skyhawks. John, a former Hammond assistant, is also a former head coach at Heathwood Hall and most recently St. Joe's in Greenville. And here you go, we're gonna start the highlights with CJ Stokes, the Michigan commit. And just like that, Hammond is off and running. They have the early lead on Ben Lippin. Now Ben Lippin on offense and Hammond on defense. Rucker Brannon with the INT and he will take it back deep into Ben Lippin territory. And from there, Hammond just methodically moves the chains and there's Stokes again scoring a touchdown. And the Hammond Skyhawks, they've won the last three state championships in Skiza 3A. And John Wheeler obviously knows he's taking over a machine. But this night, a very impressive debut for him. He is 1-0 as the Hammond head football coach. The Skyhawks win it by a final of 58-7. to Hey, let's head to Chapin. The Eagles hosting Mid-Carolina. The Battle of the Bell, second half action. Malcolm Johnson picks up an Eagle first down as he catches the slant up the middle. Then on the very next play, App State commit Xavier Short in front of a packed house. Watch Xavier haul in the deep pass, and that is an Eagle touchdown. And that kind of night for Chapin as the Eagles went by a final of 46 to 26 over Mid-Carolina. And up the road in Newberry, the Bulldogs hosting 2A powerhouse Abbeville. The visiting Panthers have won five of the last six Class 2A state titles. Second half action, Abbeville gets a nice stop in the backfield. That will force a Newberry punt. But the uh, Panthers lost the ball, and. It was recovered by the dogs. So the home team has something to be excited about. And a few plays later, the dogs would capitalize on the turnover. KJ Robinson, he pounds it in for six. and makes the score 20 to seven. Abbeville still with the advantage. But then on the ensuing kickoff, Antonio Harrison. He's going to take it at the 10 and watch the deuce get loose for Abbeville. And he is gone 90 yards on the kickoff return. And Abbeville wins it by a final of 35 to 6 over Newberry. Hey, let's head to the swamp. River Bluff hosting Spring Valley. Second quarter action. Spring Valley quarterback DeQuandre Smith hands off to Evan Javis. And Evan will dash his way to a big pickup. And then two plays later, the Quandre will cap off the drive with a touchdown. That makes the score 13 to three. In favor of the Vikings. And the next Gator drive, the Spring Valley defense will come up with a big stop in the backfield. And that will force a punt. And then the next Gator possession, more defense. Apparently they're playing defense over at Spring Valley. INT there and Spring Valley goes on the road to the Swamp and defeats River Bluff by a final of 33 to 10. That was a good win for Robin Bacon and the Vikings. River Bluff, obviously a very quality team. So Spring Valley with a big win on the road. All right, that's it for high school action with the Friday Night